While Metro has actually never stopped encouraging riders to wear masks, there's been no enforcement on them since a federal judge struck down the mask mandate. Now, though, new talk about mask-only rail cars. Somebody had suggested, can we have a mask-only car, like a quiet car, like on the Amtrak? I, I, has that been considered? I'm just curious. So that is something that we're actively looking into. Metro's chief safety officer, Teresa Empastado, says they've been talking to New Jersey transit officials about how this would work because that agency is also looking at this. But enforcement and potential confrontations could be an issue. She talked about problems with Amtrak's quiet car, for example. The quiet car has a pretty storied history um, of having some, some conflict there and needing some attention. Um, but we are we are absolutely looking into it. Now, the full Metro board also approved the recommendation of new GM Randy Clark today. But interestingly, Metro has to appoint an interim general manager between the time current leader Paul Wiedefeld leaves and Clark comes in. Since Mr. Clark's term as general manager won't begin until late this summer, and Mr. Wiedefeld has announced his attention, his intention to retire June 30th. The board also needs to appoint an interim general manager CEO who will lead the agency through the transition period. Andy Off, a top vice president who's been with Metro for years, will effectively take over as GM today until Clark can join. Covering the Metro board, Adam Tuss, News 4. Metro's new general manager, Randy Clark, has been running the transit system in Austin, Texas. He's now finalizing his plans to relocate to D.C.